On March 25, 1966, 44 cars took to the track at Sebring International Raceway, commencing what was then entitled the Trans-American Sedan Championship. Together, they set into motion 50 years of road racing excellence, a movement that would change the face of road racing forever. From its beginning, Trans Am has been America's road racing series. From the production Pony Wars to the GT factory years to the road racing renaissance of today, the Trans Am series has captured the public's imagination and the name itself, Trans Am, is known worldwide. 2016 marks the 50th anniversary of Trans Am, and over its five decades of racing, the series has made an unquestionable impact on motorsports, our memories, and our lives through legendary races, legendary drivers, and legendary institutions, all making their mark on the Trans Am. The Trans Am story began modestly enough, the brainchild of SCCA employee John Bishop, as a means to entice America's automotive manufacturers into the realm of road racing. All the American manufacturers began to put out the the uh, sport sedan type car, then of course it, it was just a natural to give them a good place to race. Envisioning the potent mixture of pro racers and American performance machines, the timing proved impeccable. With the Trans Am series operating as a true manufacturer's championship and Detroit's new pony cars rolling off the assembly line and into garages as fast as they were produced, the best place to publicize a high performance car became the Trans Am Challenge. A series happy to supply Detroit with the venue to test, develop, and market a generation of automobiles that would come to define the American car and Motor City for years to come. Soon came the iconic phrase, win on Sunday, sell on Monday. Trans Am became the medium to develop brand awareness and loyalty amongst fans, as huge dollar commitments from Ford, GM, Chrysler, and others created manufacturer and driver rivalries that ultimately resulted in the commencement of the Pony Wars. In the 1960s, Roger Penske's Sunoco Blue Camaros and Mark Donahue quickly established themselves as a force with Donahue winning 10 of 13 races in the 1968 season. And despite only racing in Trans Am for four years, Donahue quickly racked up a then record 29 victories. Over the next few years, the Penske Camaros and ensuing AMC Javelins would be faced by the Budmore Ford Mustangs of Parnelli Jones and George Fulmer, creating a motorsports rivalry unlike anything America had ever seen. First Donahue and Fulmer. Then Fulmer, then Donahue. The lead changes seven times in the first 50 miles. 1973 saw the Trans Am rulebook evolve, and foreign sports cars such as the Porsches, BMWs, and Datsuns began to make their own impact on the road courses of North America. Then in the later 70s, the big block Corvettes began to separate themselves from the competition in Group 2 while Bob Tullius and the Group 44 Jaguar took a Group 1 championship. The 1980s brought the tube frame, silhouette cars, and a new dynasty to the Trans Am series. Jack Roush entered Trans Am in 1984 and proceeded to absolutely dominate the remainder of the decade, with the Roush team winning 46 of 83 races and posting 97 top three finishes. Roush's Capris and Macours were nay unstoppable in the hands of Wally Dallenbach Jr., Scott Pruitt, and Willie T. Ribs. Trans Am returned to its roots in 1989 as Ford, Oldsmobile, and Chevrolet squared off. And while the Mustang won the series to celebrate the 25th anniversary of the model, the following years were dominated by Chevrolet, thanks to the efforts of Scott Sharp and Jack Baldwin. Incidentally, Jack Baldwin's Hot Wheels car remains the highest selling Hot Wheels toy car in history. And while the mid-1990s saw five different drivers win the first five races of 96, the decade will always be remembered as the decade of Tommy Kendall. With Kendall capturing four series championships and winning 11 races in a row in 1997. He's got running room, Boris is gonna take him to the wall. The new millennium ushered in a new era of Trans Am. He 
Blocks into the corner. There's contact. Oh, and there's Bell. Gentilosi and Bell. They're three wide. With Jaguar and Rocket Sports dominating three or four seasons, with Paul Gentilosi overtaking Mark Donahue's overall win record with 30. Who wants it more? Oh, they're going for it. Bell to no. the inside for the lead. Justin Bell leans on Morris and takes over. And Gentilosi has an opening. Gentilosi takes the lead. They've swapped it three times. Bell gets turned around. Boris gets by and Bell gets booted out of second spot. Gentilosi out of the final corner will come to the checkered flag. Followed by Tony Ave turning in monster performances and capturing the 2010 and 2011 series championships. Trans Am has made huge strides in four short years, and the Trans Am series has seen a resurgence unlike any other in motorsports. Now featuring robust fields and entries of 60 plus cars on a regular basis, Trans Am has begun forging a new legacy. Champions such as Ernie Francis Jr., Cameron Lawrence, Doug Peterson, Gar Robinson, and Amy Ruman, and have paved the way for a new generation of Trans Am drivers. Alongside Trans Am's new champions, fans will find the traditional Trans Am Grand Touring racer, joined by the modern day pony wars with the Ford Mustang, Chevrolet Camaro, and Dodge Challenger, once more battling for dominance in TA2 on a massive scale while the series remains true to its production heritage with the introduction of TA3, TA4, and TA5. Now, as drivers battle for the 50th anniversary championship trophies, the series makes its long-awaited return to Detroit. Trans Am's future is now as bright as at any point in the series' storied history. After 50 years, the Trans Am is still vital, innovative, and true to the spirit of American road racing. Once more, American iron and the thunder of Trans Am engines can be seen and heard across the nation with fields of Camaros, Mustangs, Challengers, Vipers, and Corvettes showcasing the spirit of our road racing on legendary tracks. From the legends of Dahlenbach, Donahue, Fulmer, Jones, Kendall, Penske, Pruitt, Roush, and so many more, to the modern motorsports heroes of Andretti, Ave, Francis, Peterson, Lawrence, Robinson, Ruman, and others.